Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction, and today we're going to be looking at a very useful tool. This is a farm jack or a jack all. It's a type or a style of jack that is used for so many different things. This um, particular model here is a high lift. It goes up to 4,660 pounds of lifting abilities and is very, very handy to have. These things can get you out of a jam, you know, if you're trying to, you know, jack up a trailer or a vehicle. Um, they are a little dangerous, so make sure you know how to use them. But uh, right now I've been using it to pull fence po poles out and it's very, very easy to do. You don't need to have a bobcat or anything. Even with concrete attached to the bottom, this will pull it right out, no problem very clean very easy and just really recommend if you're into construction you get one of these um, even if, if you're say pulling a trailer and you don't have a jack i know i have a trailer then i blew some tires out on a highway and i had to use a bottle jack but it was the one from my truck and i had to stack a bunch of stuff up just to get you know the jack up close enough to be able to change my tire. It was a super huge pain in the butt. If I had one of these, I could have lifted the trailer up in a matter of seconds. So they're very, very easy to use. Essentially, you've got this rod. This is all steel with cast foot. And I'll just flip it over here for you. You position it where you need. So let's say we're pulling, um, I don't know, let's say we're just lifting a trailer up. That's easy enough. So you just pull it down and just jack it up. But first, I'm on the wrong side here. Yeah, this has to be up, okay? So it uses these two pins and they just go in the holes and they just work themselves up this bar. And it's super easy to get major, major uh, torque on this thing and it just works itself up now the biggest thing this is the most dangerous part of these jacks is let's say you're trying to push 3,000 pound vehicle up in the air or something when you're pulling down on this this is the most dangerous part because if you're standing here and you're pushing down on the jack and your hand slips off, all that pressure is gonna shoot this right back up and it's gonna hit you right in the face. So when you're jacking these things, you always wanna be you know, clear of the bar. That's the most dangerous part of using one of these jacks. So that's how you release it. You just pull it up to jack. And then when you want to go back down, you just push these. Now you want to make sure your finger's not anywhere in here. So you might even want to just use your foot just to kick this down. Okay. But as long as the pole is out to the side, it's not, this, this mechanism's not going to slide down until you bring the pole up, then it slides down. Okay. Now, if you need to raise this up to say this height and you don't want to jack, Push the lever in the down position. It's gonna be kind of hard on this table. Slide it up to where you want. As long as you keep the handle down, it won't, it won't move. Okay, then pull the lever up. Now you can continue jacking from this position. So just a little tip there. So you don't have to jack all the way up. You see a lot of guys just jacking, jacking, jacking. When all they have to do is just what I showed you and they can just bring it right up. So if you want to bring it down, you don't want to slam your fingers, keep the pole in this position, push this lever down. Then when you bring the pole back up, it's going to slide down. Okay. Just like that. That's the safe way to operate these because these are dangerous. Now, the other thing with jack alls or farm jacks, when they jack, they don't just jack straight up this bar will start to lean forward 
as you jack because you're not lifting directly you know under this rod you're you're pulling it forward so it will start to lean so if you are jacking up a trailer or something you want to have some kind of padding here let's say you're against the body so that it's not pushing into your trailer too much so just keep that in mind um, if you're just jacking up the tongue whatever it's it's fine if it tips a bit but just be aware that when these get you know if you had this at the top you're in a very very wobbly position and it, it just means that these can fail very very easily so as handy as these are they're also incredibly dangerous if you're not using them in the right application um, there's some other you know applications you can use this in. you can almost use it as a come along it has a part of the top here where you could wrap a chain around this say to a vehicle and you could attach this end to a log and then you could jack yourself out of a trench let's say so you can use this as a come along they're not great for it but but you definitely could use it in a pinch if you if you really needed to and there's other models that have clamps at the top too so it just gives you more options but this particular model here um, you're mostly just jacking stuff straight up in the air So here you can see I'm using the farm jack to take these 4x4 fence posts out. Um, they are in the ground pretty good, so we're just going to easily pull these things out and hopefully there's no concrete down there and we'll just uh, jack them out. You can see how easy this is. Now I've attached some wood to the side and I find this is the easiest way. You can also use a chain and wrap it around the 4x4 and just hook it on the shoe of the jack and that will help you pull it out as well. So there's lots of options to, to remove these posts. So we're just gonna keep jacking here until we get this post out. See how easy and effortless this is. I don't have to bring a bobcat in, I don't have to use a winch. I don't have to set up any kind of fancy contraptions. I don't have to dig a hole. I'm just jacking these things right out. Almost. Okay, so now we've jacked it out. You can see how easy that was. Barely broke a sweat. And I can go on to the next one here and get this done probably within an hour. And I'm on to putting in new holes and, and new 4x4s. So as you can see guys, super handy to take these posts out. Uh, if you're into fencing or decks or anything like that, you know, just need to level stuff off, you can use one of these and it just saves you so much time. Um, way quicker than a bottle jack because there's less setup time. It's especially if you get these larger models, you can buy these in shorter models as well. But I figured if you're going to be jacking, you might as well have the most capacity as possible. So guys, let me know what you think about these jackals and farm jacks. Um, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.